Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today it is all about getting healthy and having that green drink. I have tried to make green drinks so many different ways, but I have stayed tried and true to this recipe. It's really easy. All of my ingredients I have bought at Trader Joe's. Tell me, how freaking good is Trader Joe's? Literally, I can't live without it. So anyways, let's move on from that because I could be on that all day long. Uh, let's just get started. I use a Nutribullet. If you've ever heard of these, oh my God, it's to die for. So they come with these little cups, so easy, and then the little blade, turn it on, turn it on, and you have yourself a really well blended drink. So let's just get started. I first start with spinach. You can use kale, but if you're just dipping your toe into the green drink, you probably want to stick with spinach. Plus, it's super healthy for you. So I grab like a handful, I would say, a good handful. I'll grab a little bit more, maybe a handful and a half. And then I just press it in here. So that's pretty good. That'll do. And then I add in one piece of fruit that is not frozen because the rest of the fruit I use is frozen. So I just had peaches lying around that they already kind of turned a little bit mushier than I'd like. So I'm just throwing a half a peach in here. And then the other fruit that I am using is mango and pineapple. Now let me tell you something. If you want to cut that really grassy taste from the spinach out, use pineapple and you don't even need that much of it. It's just, it's so tangy and tart and sweet that it removes that greeny, grassy, healthy flavor, if you will. So I'm just doing a couple chunks of mango in here. Just throwing a couple of them in there. And then I got my blueberries, which I'll just put a little bit in for antioxidants. Um, all right, that should be good. And then I just realized my pineapple is actually in the fridge freezer. So I gotta use this. Trader Joe's has literally the best stuff, I swear. Cut this open. I don't know where my scissors are, so I'm kind of dealing with what I got. So just a couple chunks of pineapple in here. Okay. Push that in. So now you have your green drink. That's basically all greens and then you got your fruit on top. Now, here are the ingredients that really make a difference in my green drink and I swear this is the best thing ever. And when I forget these at the grocery store when I'm buying all the ingredients, I'm like, crap, I knew I was missing something. So I use mint leaves. I take about one whole sprig and I'll just pull the leaves off like this and actually I like mint so much I actually do two but if I was just starting out just do one just do one stem okay so push that in there and then I add in ginger ginger root so I just cut off a little chunk when I mean a chunk I just mean like a half inch chunk I'm cutting it right now so about a chunk like that, just a little sliver. Again, I like ginger a lot, so I actually cut a little bit more, but you don't need to because ginger is a flavor that if you have never had it before, you probably don't want to put as much in. You kind of wean yourself in, but it tastes really good with mint. Okay, so now that I have all my ingredients shoved in there, I am going to use cranberry juice. And this one is the low calorie one from Trader Joe's. But here's the thing, because that peach isn't frozen, it's actually gonna be more liquidy. And the spinach has so much water in it that that's also liquidy. So you don't even need that much. And I actually cut it with some water. So I do about half cranberry, half water, maybe a little bit more cranberry. Mm, that's pretty good, just like that. Now here's the thing, this is, you can modify this however you'd like. I 
didn't have enough protein today, so I'm actually gonna add some protein powder in here. Whatever you do, don't add any protein powder that has a flavor to it. So gross. I've done that on accident. So I am taking this Nutribiotic Organic Rice Protein Plain Powder. And I just do, I've been a real full scoop, just a little bit in there. And that should be good. Now let's see here. Typically I always have to add more liquid just because I never seem to add enough. But that's okay because you can always go back in. Tighten it as tight as you can. And then we're going to put this puppy on. Okay, it's going to get loud. So I'm going to do this and then come back. Alright y'all, so I just took it off the blender. I let it blend for about 60 seconds or so. I like mine really, really creamy. So let me take off the little top, shake it off, and are you ready for this color? That's the color. Yes, it looks a little bit murky and everything, but you have to remember, it's really healthy for you. You know everything that went into it. And let's taste it, shall we? It's all about the taste. It's so good. It's so good. I love it. It's really that gingery and minty flavor to it. Try this. That's all you have to do. It's just try it at your house and you are going to love it. So right now I'm going to have a snack. I'm going to have this and some hummus and some carrots and yeah, I'm going to go enjoy that because I just got home from work. So I hope you guys enjoy your day. Try this out. Leave comments below. Tell me what you think of it. But again, really good, really healthy. Everything I got was from Trader Joe's. So easy. Have a great day, guys.